Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Insights at Dee Dee Lynn Designs, a unique twist in the ancient art of wire. I'm really excited today to present three wire weaving patterns and specifically for beginners. So we're going to be doing a two wire uh, figure eight weave and I'm using scrap wire and um, I've taped the back. And I'm using 24 gauge over 16 just so you can really see it. And then the second wrap will be our three wire wrap. And this I call, well, you could really call it anything, but I call it a checkerboard. Do you see that? It looks like a little checkerboard. And then the fourth weaving pattern I really don't have a name for this. It's not really a pyramid. It kind of reminds me of a, a tulip or a flower coming up underneath there, like out of the ground, you know? It's a really cool pattern. So before we get started, I really appreciate your comments and feedback. I'm trying to move up the YouTube ladder. So please hit the subscribe button down there and that bell and any comments. I will promise you I'll get back to you. I really, really appreciate all of you joining me in this absolutely fabulous, magical, ancient art of wire. So if you haven't studied the ancient art of wire, I really encourage you to check it out. It was amazing what they did over 5,000 years ago with very little tools. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to work on the figure eight weave. And I've started my weave pattern already so that you can just get an idea where you're going. So basically I'm doing two coils around the bottom and then I'm going underneath and doing two coils over the top. So right now I've completed my two coil rotation and then I brought my wire through the middle and then I'm bringing it over the top and I'm going to do two rotations. As I'm coming back in to my second rotation, I'm going to bring that wire back through and back underneath wire one and over that wire twice. As I'm coming over the top, into my second rotation, I'm going to come underneath that wire and I'm going to go over the top wire twice. And this is all we're doing. Now, if you're a beginner at weaving, figure eight weaves, and especially when your wires are spread out, will want to keep sliding up. So let me show you a technique on how to support that. If you keep your finger on the back and also watch your tension, okay? then you're going to be able to support that wire from moving up. If you pull too tight, a couple of things are going to happen. The wire is going to be too tight, so it's naturally going to want to slide up, and it's going to bring your wires together. So I'm holding my finger underneath. Then I'm coming around the back, then putting my finger in the back again, coming over, lifting my finger up, and then supporting that wire again and going over the top, lift my finger up, come back up underneath. I'm supporting that wire and keeping it from sliding. And then I'm gonna take my uh, nylon jaw pliers and I'm going to cinch it down. And now you can start to really see this pattern coming along. And again, the reason with tape is if we wanna keep a nice line of a V shape, it really helps just keep it in that shape without your wires shifting. So let's do that again. I'm in between the wires. I'm gonna come up underneath the bottom, over the top, put my finger there, and around again, come up underneath, got my finger in the back, supporting that wire. Then I'm going to go over the top and over the top and push my wires down and then back up underneath. Now you can do as many coils as you like. The more coils you do, the more spread out your figure eight weave pattern will be. So let's do three. So I'm going to come over the top and I'm going to do one, two, three. I'm going to push that down. Then I'm going to come up underneath and you're going to see how that gap starts to open up. 
One, two, three, and one. A little short on wire here. Two, three. And do you see how this gap is opening up? So it's really starting to spread it out. So if you want, these are very tight knit and close together. If you wanted to do five coils or six coils, you could easily do that and it would just really, really open up that weave. So here is our figure eight. And it's a beautiful weave and you can use it, do four wires, as many wires as you want. But there we have it. So now we're going to work up to our three wire weave. And again, I'm using scrap wire and this I call my checkerboard. So what I've done is I'm starting with my coils on my bottom wire and we'll call this the number one wire. And so you would do the same thing when you're bringing your wire in. And I've done three coils. So I'm gonna go around my base wire, my number one wire. This is two and three. Now my wire is coming out the back. So I'm gonna come all the way up to the top and I'm going to wrap around wire number three, the top wire, three times. So that's one, this is two, and this is three. Now my wire is still coming out the back. And now I'm going to come in between wires one and two, and I'm going to wrap that center wire, wire number two, five times. So there's one, two, oops, missed it, three, four, and five. Now my wire is coming over wire two and I'm going to bring it under and have that wire coming towards me, under the back and towards me. So this is what I call one repeat or one completed set of the checkerboard pattern. So we're gonna do that again. So I'm gonna come, I'm coming underneath and I'm gonna wrap around my base wire, wire number one, three times. Ugh. Okay, I'm underneath, coming up over the top, all the way around the top, and I'm gonna wrap that three times. So that's one, two, three. Now I'm coming underneath, I'm in the back, and I'm gonna come underneath that second wire and in between wire one and two. And we're gonna roll over wire two five times. That's two, three. Spread this wire out, it's driving me crazy. Four. <laughs> The woes, trials, and frustrations with weaving, right? Five. Okay, and I'm gonna cinch them down. Now, I'm kind of picky, so I wanna make sure I'm not pushing everything off on an angle, and I want everything to line up nice and straight. So what I'm doing is I'm just kind of straightening up my wires and cinching them together, and just getting them in a nice direction. It's a really beautiful pattern, gang. And you can add as many coils as you like. So for example, let's say you wanted to do five of the top and bottom wires and 10 of the middle wire. So let's take a look at that and go ahead and do that. So we're coming out the back. I'm gonna go over wire one five times.
coming out the back over the top wire, wire three, five times. Now I'm coming out the back again, and all we're doing is just changing and spreading out that look. I'm just kind of straightening that out. I don't want it to be on an angle. So you can already see it transform. So now I'm coming out the back. I'm going to come in between wires one and two, and I'm going to go over wire two ten times. So that's 10, and I'm just cinching my wire down. And you can see how it's changing, really, it's the same pattern, but it's just changing the look. It's really cool. Little checkered board. Now you could spin off from here any way you want. You could start double, triple wrapping your wires, meaning wrapping all your wires if you wanted to change your weave pattern. So I'm coming out the back. I'm going to go all the way around wires one, two, and three, three times, and look how quickly you can change your design element. And then I'm going to come in between wires one and two, and I'm going to coil off again. And this is what's so beautiful about weaving. You can really do anything. And weaving actually dates back to the word weaving. When the indigenous peoples weaved reeds, they would... Uh, uh, weave hemp, anything that they could strip and dry and weave. I mean, if you look at ancient Native American basketry and rugs, it's absolutely beautiful. And their, you know, looms that they created to help them when they were doing very large projects. So it's really wire weaving, even though it dates back before the Phoenicians over 5,000 years ago, uh, comes from the indigenous peoples weaving and creating fabrics and threads and using natural organic resources provided to us from this beautiful planet that we live on. Gives us so many beautiful gifts every day. All you got to do is just open your eyes and just look at all the beauty around you. So there is the change in the pattern. And that's kind of like a cross weave. So you could use that as a design element on the center of your piece. So here we've done a three wire weave pattern. We've changed it up three times. We started with the checkerboard with three, five, three, five, three, five, three, five. Then we broke down to five, 10. And then we brought in our wires all the way over the top three times and then quilled in the middle again. So, you know, don't be shy, go for it. Now we're going to do what I kind of want to just name the tulip weave. It's not really a tulip. It just kind of reminds me of a flower. So what you're going to do is you're going to wrap two coils around your base wire. Actually, I did three, guys, three coils. And um, I'm just using, again, scrap wire here to show you how cool this pattern is. You can do as many coils in between the set the repeats of the flower petals, if that's what you want to call them. And that will open it up. So it spreads it out and makes that design more obvious. You can have it close together or no coils in between. It's really up to you. So we've started with three coils over our base wire. And now I'm going to come over wires one and two. Then I'm going to come in between wires one and two. I'm going to go over wires 
two and three, in between wires two and three, all the way over wires three and four, and I'm coming all the way around the back. I am not coiling off on the top. And then I'm gonna bring that wire all the way back around, and I'm gonna set my wire up. So I've wrapped it over all four wires. Now I'm gonna come back in between wires one and two, over wires one and two, and between wires three and four. I'm coming around the back, and I'm gonna come up underneath and go over wire one and two, and I've completed my little flower petal, whatever you wanna call it, tulip. And then I'm going to show you the difference of when we do more coils. I did three coils here, okay? So now I'm gonna do five. And I just want you to see how beautiful this is when you spread it out. It just brings more attention to the weaving pattern itself. So now I've done five coils. I'm gonna push that together and let's do this again. I'm gonna go over wires one and two, in between wires two and three. Now I'm coming around the back, go over, I'm sorry, in between wire one and two, over wire two and three, in between wire two and three, over wire one, all the way around the back, then back over, I'm sorry, back in between wires one and two, over wires two and three, then all the way around the back, then over wire one and two, and we've completed our set or repeat of one pattern. And see the gap space? So it just allows you, if you don't wanna see them really close together, just allows you to open up that pattern so that you can see this design better. So let's do that again. I hope I have enough wire left. I'm gonna go over wire one five times. I sure hope I have enough. Then I'm gonna go over wire one and two, in between wire one and two, over wire two and three, in between wire two and three, all the way over and around and to the back. And I'm just setting my wire up when I pull it down like that. Then I'm gonna go back in between wires one and two. I'm gonna go over wires two and three, and I'm gonna have just enough. And then back underneath and over wire one and two and just coil off. And there we have it, our beautiful little petal or I don't know what you wanna call it. I know I've said that a couple of times now, I just don't know. So it just kind of reminds me of little petals on a flower, but isn't that pretty? So I hope you enjoyed that, everyone. Um, please give me your feedback, comments, likes, and subscribe. And thank you for being a part of this wonderful, magical, ancient art of wire. It is just something that I love with all my heart. Oh, I wanted to show you the back of this one. It's a really cool weave. If you wanted to flip this checkerboard weave over, check that out. Isn't that cool? So it really creates a very awesome effect, almost like a little bit of a zigzag. And it changes this wrap that we did in the front where we went over all three wires three times and it really gives that a really cool effect. So be very mindful when you're weaving to do it as neat as possible because you may prefer the back than the front and you've actually got one, two, three, four different kinds of weaves going on. I just think that's really cool. Love the back.
So again, thank you so much, you guys. And as Thumper said in Bambi, if you ain't got nothing nice to say, don't say nothing at all. And here's our weaves. Have a wonderful, magical, fabulous day, everyone. I wish for you all that you wish for yourselves. Bye for now.